Hey guys, over here at Oxmoor Mazda, have Matt McCormick here with us. So you all, it is hot outside, and unfortunately when it's warmer, you can have some issues with your vehicle. So Matt, what are some things that could typically happen when the weather starts, you know, getting really hot like this? Well, the number one thing is this overheating mm -hmm. problems, uh, and that's just due to coolant and stuff. We don't see it a lot unless there's usually a, uh, you know, a mechanical failure or something like that or a coolant leak, but there's some easy things that you can do to kind of keep up on this if you'd like to do it yourself. Um, number one thing is checking your coolant level. This is the coolant jug right here. It'll be kind of hard to see, but there'll be a full line and an empty line on the back side of this that you can see. Um, and you can top that off whenever you feel like you just pop this off put the Mazda approved coolant in there and then you're good to go um, what I would kind of tell you though is this is the radiator cap right here if you take that off when it's hot you're gonna get burned so please like make sure it's good and cold before you take this cap off to check it and then of course once it is cold you take it off and check it you can top that coolant off as well um, other than that, you know, the regular maintenance things you can do is to look at, you know, washer fluid, check your oil and stuff like that. And of course, if you don't feel comfortable doing any of this, please bring it by, let us do it and uh, we can do it for you. No problem. And then we'll go inside here real quick and I'll just kind of talk a little bit about uh, some of the lights you might see on different Mazdas. Um, if they go in, you know, if they get too hot, they start overheating. There's two different kinds of you know, signs that you might see. One Mazda might have just the analog needle that tells you the temperature. But if yours doesn't that have that, there's a good chance that you're going to see some uh, different lights instead of that analog sweeping uh, arrow. The first one you'll see might be a blue water light. That blue water light just simply tells you that, hey, we're not warm yet. We're not at operating temperature. It's cold outside. You might not even see the blue light right now. It's hot as it is right now. But uh, <laughs> If it goes out or there's no lights at all, that means we're at regular operating temperature. Don't worry about it. You're good to go, drive it. But if that turns red, you see red, turn the car off, call us, let's get the car towed in um, and let's get a look at it. Because the last thing I want you to do is drive it when it's red and it overheats, it causes some more problems like that. So yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much no for taking the time to, to share all that. Yeah. That's great. All right, guys, now if you have any questions, if you'd like to bring in your vehicle, let us know. All of our contact information will be listed right here. Stay safe, everyone, and uh, hopefully we don't see you soon. Just yeah. kidding. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.